The departure of the Pikes Peak Range Riders. Carity on News Channel 13, Scott Harrison explains who they are and what they mean to the local community. Many of the people who have moved to Southern Colorado in the last decade or so simply may not realize why the Pikes Peak Range Riders are such a big deal for us. Listen to some of the riders explain why. I'm kind of a wannabe cowboy. Grant Durham has lived in Colorado Springs for seven years. He wears the green armband to show that it's his first ride with the group. You can't become a member until you've been a guest for three years. The end state is we, we support the military because that's what the rodeo supports and we support the rodeo. So, you know, the whole idea behind this organization is we're trying to, to garner uh, really uh, knowledge and, and interest in the rodeo. The rodeo was canceled by the pandemic last year, but will return next month for its 80th year. But equally important for the range riders is to preserve our Western culture and lifestyle amid new arrivals who aren't familiar with it. It's great to be back outdoors. This is what we love to do and it's who we are and what we do. And the range riders love this and we couldn't be happier to be out here. The range riders have been doing this since 1949. And this year, nearly 170 people will be in the saddle, continuing the tradition. It's a good way of getting back to normal. In El Paso County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.